Yo, yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Slice. I'm back. Today, I got the solo, silent, and sneaky preps for you. These are just the four missions that are specific to the silent and sneaky approach. The drones, the vault laser, the infiltration suits, and the EMP. First, we're getting started with the drones. Now, this one's pretty straightforward. There's gonna be five drones on the map. If you're doing it solo, you can pick up all five pieces without having to drop any off first. It's pretty simple. Just keep some distance from the drone when you're shooting a missile at it. As you can see, you can pick up the parts without even having to get off your oppressor or whatever you happen to be driving. I do recommend an oppressor, of course, always, but you can do it with a helicopter. The buzzard, sometimes the missiles do suck, so you wanna have some distance between you and the drone before you do fire. If you're having trouble hitting it with the missile, go ahead and hop out of your vehicle and shoot the drone down with a regular gun. It can be auto-aimed onto, not a problem. Knock it down, pick up the parts, then go about your business. Really, the only difficult spot I can see on this mission is escaping the police after you've picked up all five pieces, and even then, it's still not too bad. We move on to the EMP. Again, this one's pretty straightforward. We're gonna get over here, take everyone out and grab this cargo bob. It just makes grabbing the cargo bob and getting away a little bit easier. Um, you're going to get over to the ULSA location and you pick up the EMP. Now, after that you pick up the EMP, you want to make sure to get some altitude. Get some altitude so that you're high enough that the ground cops can't pick you up, can't see you, what have you. After you've gained some altitude, I like to head straight towards the casino. You're going to be dropping it off at the power plant right across the street from it. So by going that way, you're gonna save yourself some time. Now, when you're headed that way, the only thing you're gonna have to worry about is other police helicopters. Sometimes they can spawn in front of you, directly in front of you, which that sucks. Not much you can do about that, but what you wanna do is, is just head towards the casino and do your best to dodge any incoming helicopters. As I said, they're not too difficult to dodge unless they spawn directly in front of you that does add an extra degree of difficulty. Did get lucky on this one. I'm not sure, maybe the mission glitched out or something, but only one helicopter ended up spawning in. And once I passed it, I, that was it. I didn't happen to see any more. You'll see it right there to my left. Um, I got past him and I didn't see any more. Nothing spawned, he didn't come after me. So we get here, drop it off, nice and easy. And we're gonna move on to the next one. The next one is gonna be the infiltration suits. Now, if I had to recommend paying for any of these preps to get done, it would be this one. Every time I do Silent and Sneaky, I just pay for these. It's 70k, and it saves a big headache. Now, you'll see in this one, actually I got lucky. This is one of the more easy, uh, easier ones that you can end up with to get these uh, suits. I was lucky enough to be able to hang out next to this wall over here, take everybody out, and it provided me with plenty of cover. After you've cleared a path, when you go to hack the security panel, the hack will be a simple CEO hack that you've seen before in hundreds of CEO missions that I'm sure you've done. There are plenty of soldiers on foot over here, but what you really have to watch out for is there's a couple guys on the ground, which they don't have a line of sight to me right now, but they're in insurgents or some type of armored vehicle on the machine guns busting at you. It's horrible. I hate getting shot up like that. After you do clear a path, made the hack and you were able to get the suit you grab it and you get out of there you drop it off when you come back for the second suit there will not be much resistance uh, it's pretty clear still over here still and if you've lost the cops you shouldn't get them again this is definitely m one of the more aggravating ones to do even if you have a partner it's still pretty aggravating it's not easy as I said, 70k can save you a lot of headache. Another thing that pisses me off about this mission is that damn alarm. It's almost worth paying 70k just so you don't have to hear that alarm. There's another location that this mission can take place. Uh, that's in the police station. And that one is extremely crowded with cops, uh, especially after you fire a shot and you're wanted. Uh, if you die in that one and they spawn you outside, it becomes an absolute clusterfuck. I would say that out of the three approaches, Silent Sneaky is the second most difficult 
complete the preps. Aggressive, in my opinion, being the number one most difficult to finish the preps. And really, it's the least effective heist to do. You're not going to be able to clear the vault of everything unless you're doing artwork when doing aggressive. So usually, I like to stick between Silent Sneaky on hard and Big Con on hard. It's just more worth it. However, I will be coming out with a video soloing the aggressive specific approaches, uh, preps, excuse me. If you don't have an oppressor and you're not anywhere close to passing the nightclub paywall, I would recommend getting a buzzard. It's uh, one of the best vehicles in the game. It's pretty fast. And to this day, I still use mine a shit ton. Box right there. I just wanted to see if something was in it, but real talk, fuck that box. So we've gotten the second suit. I'm going to shoot a little bit to clear some room and just get the hell up out of there. And thank God that mission is done. Boy, do I hate that one. Last but not least, we're going to have the vault lasers. Now, with the vault lasers, of course, there's different variations of the mission. I got the Clifford Mercenaries, I believe. And when you get there, there's going to be a bunch of juiced up soldiers, as Lester had said. And there's also going to be one juggernaut. You'll see what I do. I hang back and just fire missiles, and you can do that with anything that has missiles, and I would highly recommend that's how you get this mission done. You definitely don't want to go over there and try to get into some gunfight with all those guys. After you take them out, you're able to get inside. Come in here. I like to use the assault shotgun. Wipe everybody out, and we're going to grab a laser. No problem. And there should not be any resistance when you come back for the second one. I appreciate y'all stopping by and checking out the video. I'll be back soon with some more content, but for now, I'm out of here.